Now we head to the other big meeting tonight in the city, focusing on a possible flavored tobacco ban. 10TV's Olivia Eugenio was there. Olivia? Yeah, Rich, Columbus Public Health did a study that showed that minorities are disproportionately using tobacco products to their white counterparts. That's why Columbus Public Health proposed this ordinance, and the idea is clearly important to the dozens of people who came out to tonight's meeting. At Wednesday's meeting, as most spoke out against the proposed ban on flavored vapor products or flavored tobacco products, there was Kristen Dixon. I am telling you, today I had to confiscate vapes from, and I will tell you, I teach middle school. Dixon teaches middle school in the Columbus City School District. She says today alone, she confiscated seven vapes. I and mean, most of them say, you know, that they are able to just go right in the corner store and grab them. And it's the flavoring that attracts them. Sarah Rutland owns Top Notch Vapor in the city. We currently employ nine people. She says flavored vaping products changed her life. She says they helped her quit smoking cigarettes after almost 20 years. If the ban goes into effect, it's not just empty storefronts. It's not just employees without a job. It's going to impact people like me who decided that smoking was going to kill me. Council members asked each speaker questions, hoping to help them decide if they move forward with a ban. It's not just uh, like the seven of us decided to just um, have this conversation. It, this is an intentional um, effort uh, brought by the Columbus, excuse me, the Coalition for Tobacco Free Kids. Um, and, and having these uh, important conversations with not just Columbus, but our surrounding partners as well. So where does this process go from here? There will be a formal public hearing next week, and I asked the council when the earliest that a vote on this could happen, and the, I spoke with a spokesperson for council. They said the earliest would be at the end of this year. Mm. Mm. All right, well, we'll see how it all turns out. Thanks, Olivia.